Jus 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 Some skewers I can smell the spice on this so I'm not gonna even attempt to have it Uh, hello guys, say hello. <laughs> no, that's so cool. Oh, this looks so nice, huh? What you want? Now, you um, ketchup, red, answer. So we're at another Xinjiang place and there's meat here on the line. They're cutting this lamb to make their barbecues, kebabs, their skewers. And this is the bread, the different types of bread. Thank you. Oh wow! Wow! It's an indoor fire, like so. Yeah. So from the uh, Xinjiang, big Muslim place. I think it's a Pakistani joint yeah. over here. Um, they got the lamb pastries. So and you put it in the big drum as you just saw in the video. And. Mm. It's more like pie from back home, like a, like a chicken and mushroom pie. Wow. That's more of the texture I'm getting from this, and more of the taste I'm getting from It just tastes like, just like lamb. Mm? Just like lamb. There's, you can see there's hardly any um, spices or seasoning on it. It's just lamb and salt. Lamb and salt. Wow. In the pastry, Ooh. I like a bit flavor, but this is also quite nice on its own. Mm. You can actually taste the lamb pieces, quite tender. Pastry is not too thick. Also, it's quite juicy on the inside, so you don't. Not, not juicy, more moisture on the inside, so you don't need to have a drink per se. But what they feel is good. Normally, assume they work quite dry, you know. But this one, um, I think the meat juices are there. It's quite moist. Hmm. Quite satisfied. Wow. What you could do is, but I've got a hint of um, like a taste of a samosa kind of from back home, like a mud samosa. All you need is that chili, sweet chili, tangy sauce um, and to dip it in. I think that would cap it off as an excellent snack. Um, yeah. Otherwise, quite an amazing, an amazing little snack that we have in here. We have these lamb pastries. Um, these are the Xinjiang lamb pies. They're kind of pastries, lamb pastries. Um, and uh, I heard it's filled with lamb meat in it, and let's try that. You can feel the flavor of the meat. Like, the meat has this seasoning, and it's like Kaitan said, almost like a chicken and mushroom pie. 
And the, the, the pastry, the pastry is not too thick. And it's not too thin either. It's like the perfect Thai pastry in a way. Like, it's not very thick. And the meat, it's so flavorful. So much of flavor from the meat and the mushrooms. Really, really good, my goodness. Look at the meat inside here. Yeah. It's a really good, good look. Mm. These are like big bones. <laughs> the soup. I think they're making noodles here. Ah, tofu. This is spicy tofu. Just a hot ladder, ma. Just a ladder. Uh, ladder. Ah, hot uh, ladder. Just, just a can hot. Just a can hot ladder. Hot ladder. Hot ladder. Push hot ladder. Ah. Wontons. It's a soup for the wontons. Yeah, yeah, it looks nice, huh? This I've, I've had this before, it's very tasty. But this one looks nice, huh? And we've reached like almost full circle around the park. It's been a beautiful festival, very, very beautiful, very bright, bright very vibrant. Definitely well worth the 70 yuan to enter because of all of the show that you get. These roses are lit up and we've come full circle around this beautiful festival and park. So we've come to the end of this video series on the Jinsha Lantern Festival at Chinese New Year. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like this content, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll leave you guys with this. See you in the next video.